And there's been, I guess, some fairly loud whisperings about your potential retirement from Test Cricket at the end of the summer. Have you came to any decisions on that just yet? Oh, look, I think it's, it's probably fair to say that <laughs> things are winding down a little bit, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that when, uh, when the time comes. But for the moment, just really enjoying playing with these guys and, and hopefully we're able to tick off another couple of series wins along the way. How much of a toll is the game taking on your body and your family life? I've spent a long time away from, from the family. Yeah. That's sort of the best part. I've got living and a half year old boy, a five and a half year old girl and a one and a half year old girl and he's at some stage, you know, you've uh, you got to stop chasing your own <laughs> selfish dreams and, and start, I guess, uh, supporting theirs and yeah. um, you know, I've been very lucky that I've had a lot of support through my career from, from my wife and my kids and, and lots of friends and family as well. So, you know, hopefully they can look back on your career with a bit of pride as well and, and say that they, they sort of assisted and supported you along the way and helped you to, to develop into um, a bit of a, a better player and, and also a better person along the way. So yeah, it'd be nice that when the time does come to, to be able to put some time and effort back into them. And obviously a, a fairly busy summer, but do you have any Christmas Day plans for the family? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm actually on the barbecue. I've got the boys coming <laughs> out of my place. So. It's going to be bloody nerve-wracking. <laughs> um, yeah, so that'll be good. The boys will come around home and, and we'll have a barbie uh, there and, and we'll relax and I'm sure the boys being boys will be in the backyard playing, playing some cricket as well. More nerve-wracking putting on a barbecue for the boys and being judged on your culinary skills than facing the 150-mile bouncers, eh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs>